This start could decide who wins this Grand Prix. It's a Chinese Grand Prix. Five red lights ahead of the drivers, and it's lights out, and Hamilton didn't get away well. Russell did. Uh, he's going to be wheel to wheel with Hamilton. Piastri leads us. Leclerc now down the inside of both Mercedes, and he's up to second. Now trying to jostle for the lead of the race as Hamilton tries to hang on to second position or third now. Down the inside goes Russell up to second as Leclerc goes wide. And he pushed uh, Piastri wide as well. Piastri's up to second, but down from the lead of the race where he started as now that's Hamilton around the outside and Leclerc down the inside who takes the lead of the race as Piastri continues to tumble down the order as that's Hamilton now up to second position. And we can talk about that start again. Let's look at the onboard from George Russell. He started second, certainly didn't end the first corner second, as he already had two cars up the inside, or three cars actually. As you can see, Hamilton also jockeying for that position. He eventually got that position. Uh, but you can see Leclerc going wide there, and Russell had the clear air in front of him, just didn't get the exit, and that really costed him because he lost four positions there. Here comes Hamilton, even without the strip stream, and he's already at Leclerc, but that means that Leclerc will have the slip stream down the straight, and can he now retake the lead of the race? Is now Piastri will also have an opportunity to take back the lead of the race, which he started there. He's going to try down the inside as Leclerc's around the outside, and they come to Diener up, and I think they made a made contact. Leclerc, I think, might have damage, as Lewis Hamilton is our new race leader. Let's see what's happened there on board with Leclerc. The stewards are looking at this incident between Leclerc and Piastri. But as you can see, Leclerc on the outside, you couldn't really see Piastri on the inside, but Piastri was there. He was entitled to some room. In my opinion, it might just have been a racing incident. He might need to start looking in his mirrors as here comes Max Verstappen. And this is Verstappen's first chance to try to get at Leclerc. And he goes down the inside here. He's going to try to swing around the outside for the next corner. Leclerc, though, gets the traction. He's got the inside line. And on the exit, somehow manages to stay ahead. And now Max Verstappen will lose the position to Carlos Sainz, who is now going wheel to wheel and ahead of his teammate Charles Leclerc. No team orders down at Ferrari as Leclerc drops behind into third. And still in the apex trying to go around the outside, but that might just cost him to George Russell because that has really compromised his exit. But he does manage to stay in third position. But now it is Hamilton from Sainz, and then comes Leclerc. And he goes in. Is Leclerc really going to go for it? Here he goes late breaking. And has he caught his teammate out? Yes, he has. Leclerc is up to second but at the cost of his teammate as Russell gets through as well. And that wasn't in the Ferrari playbook. The two Ferraris have really costed themselves here because Sainz has lost the position to Verstappen. And now Russell is really having a look at Leclerc. He gets ahead of Leclerc before the braking zone. Sainz is also trying to get the position from Verstappen behind as well as they're both wheel to wheel as Leclerc on the exit wheel to wheel with Russell trying to hang on to second position and does as Sainz gets ahead of Verstappen as well. We can see the replay of this move from Charles Leclerc and oh there was contact in the apex there between George Russell and Charles Leclerc as we see Leclerc taking a little bit of a wider line and I don't think that was on purpose as now Russell gets ahead of Leclerc and already ahead but wheel to wheel as Leclerc is not going to let this place get away from him too easily. Russell now trying around the outside. This is his best chance to get by but Verstappen's also on the inside and gets ahead of George Russell and Max Verstappen is incredibly opportunistic and is now back up in the third position. What a battle we have on our hands as Max Verstappen is looking at Leclerc and now he's going to go down the inside which switches to the outside. There's no room there but Max Verstappen manages to find a space and there's still wheel to wheel on the exit. It's going to be a drag race to the next corner. Verstappen's going to get out the outside line. He's got the exit. He's got the outside line and he's got a little bit ahead but Leclerc manages to break later and stays ahead. Miraculously, Leclerc still in second, but this battle is going to continue all the way down the straight as Max Verstappen's got the DRS. Leclerc is going to be an absolute sitting duck 
all the way down the straight. Verstappen's ahead. Sergio Perez is also ahead of Leclerc as he drops two positions. Both Red Bulls wheel to wheel. Leclerc is down the fourth position. Perez is up to third and Verstappen up to second. What a battle. Oh, and they've touched enough because Leclerc into the barrier, I think, goes to Charles Leclerc. And yes, it is Charles Leclerc and George Russell. And this battle has been heating up lap after lap. And it has come to contact Charles Leclerc off and into the barriers. Oh, my goodness. It was a space that was closing so fast. But that is absolutely Charles Leclerc's fault. We can see the envelope from George Russell. Nothing he could have done, and that is big damage. And into the pits comes Lewis Hamilton from the lead of the race, as well as the two Red Bulls, Max Verstappen, ahead of Sergio Perez, and Perez will get held up a little bit. Alonso's into the pits. Everybody's pitting to switch on to their next set of tires, and a ton of people will get held up, and uh, Fernando Alonso gets held up as well. And we can get back to green flag running. We've got a few laps left. And we've got Max Verstappen chasing down Lewis Hamilton. It is a, the classic battle. We've got five laps left for Max Verstappen to try to catch Lewis Hamilton. And immediately, Max Verstappen is on the tail of Lewis Hamilton. No DRS yet, but Max Verstappen's going to go for it. He's on those soft, fresh tires, and he's going to pull into the lead of the race. Into breaking, Hamilton is going to go around the outside, but Max Verstappen's got the inside line, which is just superior. But on the exit, Hamilton gets a better exit and somehow manages to stay ahead of the Dutchman. And what a battle this is turning out to be for the lead of the race. Here comes Max Verstappen once again. He's going to go down the inside this time into turn one, and he takes back the lead of the race. And the Dutchman is the new race leader. Lando Norris is looking for a pretty easy pass on Pierre Gasly, but we know Gasly's going to fight this one. But Lando Norris has got that tire advantage, and Gasly might just fall back here as Lando Norris is up into fourth position. What a drive from the McLaren driver. Gasly's tires are absolutely gone. Here comes Sergio Perez. He's going to also try to take this position off of Gasly. And on the second lap, we've seen two laps in a row that Pierre Gasly loses a position. He started eighth. Well, he's going to cross the line to win the Chinese Grand Prix. And he picks up the fastest lap on the final lap of the race. What a race. Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso come home in second and third. It's in a resounding victory today. But what set them apart from the rest? Well, this was one for an abundance of speed and skillful overtakes. Inside, outside, cutting underneath. We saw it all today. And it's really nice to see a Grand Prix won in that manner. A race to satisfy the purists today, I think. After a hard day of racing in Shanghai, Max Verstappen leaves, leading the World Championship from Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso. Then comes Lando Norris and Sergio Perez, Pierre Gasly, George Russell, Logan Sargent manages to score points, as well as his teammate Alexander Albon and Joe Guan Yu. Wheel to wheel, and they've touched! 